Manipur Forest Minister T.H. Shyamkumar today clarified the India State Forest Report 2019 published by the Forest Survey of India. This report is based on the 2016 survey which says the state of Manipur has lost 499 square kilometer of its forest area, Syam Kumar mentioned. Addressing media at his official residence at Kanglapat, T.H. Syam Kumar also said that cultivation of ganja and poppy plants is one of the main factors contributing to massive deforestation. However, the minister maintained that there have been no changes in the forest area of Manipur. Thangwiban MLA K.H. Joakison today condemned celebrating and welcoming inner line permit ILP claiming that implementation of this permit aims to collect more taxes which is not for the welfare of the indigenous people of the state. Joakison was addressing the media at his Koyatom Pukri Atoba, Mapal residence in Imphal today. The Golden Jubilee celebration of Lantun Ching village of Langol was held. As a part of the celebration organized by the village authority, Deputy Commissioner of Kangpopi District IAS Lali Thambigai K launched a souvenir on the occasion. Traditional dance and songs mark the celebration. As a part of preventive measures being taken up by the city police to prevent untoward incidents in Imphal City, the Imphal West Police Commandos under the supervision of Imphal West Additional Superintendent of Police Imphal West conducted such operation at Thangal Bazaars, Bora Gali and Ngari Gali this morning. Kerala Governor Arif Muhammad Khan today said that the State Assembly's resolution against the Citizenship Amendment Act had no legal or constitutional validity as citizenship is exclusively a central subject. This actually means nothing, Khan said, two days after the Assembly asked the Centre to cancel the contentious legislation that had triggered countrywide protests. Taiwan's top military official was among the three people missing today after a helicopter made an emergency landing at a mountainous northern area near the capital Taipei, according to media reports. A statement from the Defence Ministry said that a team has been sent to rescue the 13 people aboard the Black Hawk helicopter, who included Taiwan's Chief of General Staff, Air Force General Shen Yiming, and several survivors have been found. Over 10,000 Tripura government teachers facing termination of jobs due to a court verdict would hold a sit-in demonstration in Delhi later this month, aimed at creating alternative arrangements to protect their jobs. Media reports said that so far 43 teachers have died of psychological trauma and anxiety. Fighting for his future, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel yesterday asked Parliament to grant him immunity from prosecution in three graft cases a rare and contentious step that critics say violates the principle of equality before the law. The immunity request is the latest twist in the political and legal drama that has paralyzed the Israeli government. Two-time Olympic medalist Sushil Kumar has opted out of Friday's selection trials for next month's Asian Championships and the Continental Olympic qualifying event to be held in March. As per media reports, Sushil said he was yet to recover fully from a shoulder injury and submitted a medical certificate to the Wrestling Federation of India yesterday.